WWE just had a premiere sign-in today. A lot of those people that are familiar uh, with the CMLL are saying Stephanie Vakur is a wonderful addition. And I think she's a win based on her match with Mercedes Monet. But we definitely have to go on ahead and talk about this sign-in. What WWE did, they were a little bit sneaky with this <laughs> one. But Stephanie Vakur looks like she is going to NXT as Shawn Michaels has already confirmed and said, welcome to the family. We will see you in Orlando. So I think this is the perfect way to get her started in the WWE because you kind of want to get her adapted to that style of wrestling. We all know WWE, you can know how to wrestle all you want, but WWE is going to want five, six, seven moves done in the match. And that's pretty much it. You've done <laughs> your job. But Kiro. Uh, I know you don't know too much about her, but you've done seen enough. How do you feel yeah. about this sign? And do you think it's good uh, for NXT? Let me know. I did do a bit of research. And um, one of the first pictures that popped up on X for me is this right here. Her with Julia, another recent signee to NXT. Uh, hopefully I'm correct on that one. Uh, I'm waiting to see Julia as well. It's been a while since like, we got the news. I guess she's injured or something like that. Uh, but she really feels like the same wrestler to me. In the sense that Julia is great in the ring, but if, um, I've seen a recent interview with uh, Stephanie that was like posted eight hours ago. And well, the interviewer basically had to ask her all the questions in uh, Spanish and she answered back in that sense. Now, uh, we look at the male side of the WWE roster. We got Andrade, amazing wrestler, an asset to every single match. That he's in like even if it's just a meaningless match like the man goes crazy and makes you at least pop once or twice he's that good uh, i see that for her now to be honest with you like if you cannot speak english unless they find her a manager it's gonna be tough so uh, great i love the fact that she can wrestle and if this was 10 years ago like uh sure push her to the moon and i'm sure she's gonna get great stories and, and reactions and everything that she wants in NXT. But once she gets up to that main roster where everything changes, I don't know what's going to happen to her. Uh, I'm think she'll yeah. still have a, she'll still have a, like a good spot on the roster. She'll be there regularly. If she can make it through NXT and all that with no problems, you know, like logistics wise, maybe she'll just don't like the lifestyle. We'll figure that out as time goes. Uh, but man, her not being able to cut promos and that's like gonna make her super difficult for her to um connect with people and that might be a little tough uh, because now you look at nxt you got a lot of other women's wrestlers uh, that can talk and that are also really really good in the ring like the standard and the ability of the women's wrestlers have gone up tenfold after like the evolution days and stuff like that so she's gonna be in a tough battlefield but I think from what I've seen so far, uh, when it comes to what she can do in the ring because of that, I feel like she'll she'll at least have a you know decent run at the very least. So that's that's how I'm feeling about this whole signing. Uh, but just want to comment on real quick about the WWE and AEW thing. I, I did think that was interesting, too. They basically presented her. Uh, Gave her like a sc scouting match on AEW. And I guess like William Regal or whoever is taking in talent right now, like watch terms. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Uh, they should, they should pay. pay. Yeah. Some commission to AEW. That's what I'm saying. You know what yeah. I mean? Making their work easy, but Hey man, she, she also chose to shine, uh, sign with WWE. And, uh, so we can't just blame a uh, WWE itself for it. And I guess she's friends with Julia. So she was like, okay, hey. let me go there. I 100% I agree. WWE basically got a gift. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Even though she may not know English as well, she was showcased in front of thousands of, you know, uh, of Americans that, you know, that enjoy, you know, WWE, you know, for professional wrestling. Yeah. And this is something that is huge, I think, uh, for NXT. I think that NXT could use all the women that they can get. Um especially stephanie she was just on an aew show you bring her in you get her on the show two weeks from now and i think that that is a huge win in general now uh i do agree with you carol but the first person that comes to mind is eo sky i don't think she knows english if i'm mistaken she doesn't speak it very well if i'm if i'm not yeah, mistaken little. and she and she and she got a title run 
So I think that if you can get a manager on Stephanie or even just a group of girls around her where she's the leader uh, and she's the boss, I think that you might be able to work something out. Um, now, I don't want to put that ceiling of Andrade on her, even though it is a good comparison because we see where Andrade is. But yeah. we have seen women wrestlers especially. It doesn't work out for the men too well, but women wrestlers get away with this, and she is fantastic in the ring so i think that they may give her an opportunity somewhere down the line but we definitely have to see how this turns out now the nxt women's division aside from them getting non-wrestlers and turning them into wrestlers right. because they're just getting people that do gymnastics and stuff like that and hey you want to do this <laughs> and they and they get them doing crazy stuff i mean so ruka she was doing gymnastics and now look at her now yeah. Uh, you look at wrestlers like that. Now you bringing in a crop of wrestlers that know exactly what they're doing, like Julia, Stephanie, um, and depends on whoever else they sign. I think the NXT women's division is in good hands at the moment. Yeah, I like, I like the gymnast uh, example because that makes me think of Tiffy time. I don't think she was a wrestler either, right? She was and just then, like a bodybuilder at the time. Yeah, look how far she has come. So um, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, sure. NXT is going to cook, like I said. NXT always cooks because they kind of don't have a ceiling because they know like they can keep the circulation going. New people are going to come in. Uh, but as I said, when she gets to that main roster, that's going to be the real test. But you pointed out, rightfully so, the Io Sky thing. And yeah, she needs some sort of a manager. Maybe start off with a tag team. Uh, yeah, like, I don't want to say this too much, but I guess I'll say it this way. She seems like, to me, yeah, like an Andre, like a wrestling-wise Villa Spray type person where you can just put her in the ring with 90% of the roster and expect a great match. And that's a great hand you know what i mean like uh, now we have to think about the fact that yeah there's a lot of women in nxt right now but at the same time you look at the wwe and maybe i'm missing a couple of people but especially the main roster like you have jade cargill coming up a whole couple of wrestlers from nxt coming up because yeah. a lot of them the older uh, women's wrestlers are leaving or yep. you know they're going part-time like natalia is not resting too much anymore uh, thankfully we don't have tamina around anymore but that means there's this empty spot on the roster and hey if you're gonna fill it up i think this is one of the best ways to do it but yeah like it is interesting to me that like wwe always liked to especially under the vince mcmahon regime to bring these guys that have nothing to do with wrestling and try to turn them into wrestlers i think uh since we have triple h and if this is a signing that he's looking closely to, if it's not just has to do with Shawn Michaels and stuff like that, AKA if uh, Stephanie is one of his girls, uh, like he will push her like he, he's pushing Damien Priest right now against yeah. all odds. Damien Priest is striving. So I guess if she can build up good relationships with the people backstage and just kill it in the ring as she's been doing on the indies and other promotions man uh, i think i think she'll be golden no definitely I, I definitely agree i think that this uh this nxt this nxt class this new class that's coming up i think they're gonna be good even the men i mean they just signed ethan page six weeks oh, yeah. later he got the title on him so we don't know what can happen it looks like nxt is on fire right now just got to see what they continue doing no you're right i gotta say I was not watching NXT for the longest time, for years now, but recently it's been picking up, especially with the TNA crossover thing. Yeah. One other name I want to see, besides Stephanie and everybody else, is Joe Hendry too at Royal Rumble, but that's a, that's a, oh, yeah. for a whole nother video. Yeah. But yeah. He, yeah, he just came out yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> NXT is killing it, you're, you're right, yeah.